Hi, I'm Sarah, your consultant in your pocket, and this is Rhino Africa's Travel Tips. Today we're asking what are the best things to do with kids along the garden route. Firstly, we have animal sanctuaries. These are incredibly popular with kids, the favorites being Monkey Land and Birds of Eden. At Monkey Land, you can have an up-close encounter with all kinds of monkeys from around the world. And Birds of Eden is the largest aviary in the world where you can be swooped on by over 3,500 birds. But there are also so many more sanctuaries to choose from. There's a snake, elephant, cat, and even a wolf sanctuary. Number two, safari parks. Sanborna, Shamwari, Kwandwe, and Gora Elephant Camp in the Addo National Park are the pick of the bunch. The lodges are popular as they offer the closest real safari experience to Cape Town and are in malaria-free areas. Number three, beaches. The safaris are also easily combined with a beach holiday because the garden route has some world-class beaches along its spectacular coast. The beaches are perfect for kids. They are long, the water is clean, and the weather is mild, allowing for beach days all year round. And at four, we have ocean safaris. Ocean Adventures in Plettenberg Bay is another perfect option for kids. On these tours, kids can see dolphins, seals, penguins, and whales, depending on the time of year. And finally, at five, is hiking. There are some great hiking areas on the garden route, most notably Wilderness, Neisner and Roberg, where trails link between coastal routes, estuaries, lakes and forests. To find out more about the garden route or anything related to travel in Africa, visit our website rhinoafrica.com and if you enjoyed this video, then share the love for Africa by liking, sharing and commenting below. I'm Sarah, this is Rhino Africa's Travel Tips and you are one step closer to Africa.